Welcome to another vlog. It is a special vlog today because I am finally getting around to filming my closet switcheroo. Switcheroo? Did I say that weird? I feel like I said that weird. What that means is that I'm going to be switching around my wardrobe slash closet to tailor towards the weather for spring and summer because obviously now it is well into the spring and I feel like the temperatures are a little bit more stable now. It's around like the 50s and 60s for us here in the DC area. I'm gonna go ahead and switch some stuff around because I still have like my winter scarves out on my accessories wall. The only thing that I have done so far in terms of getting my closet ready for spring and summer is take out my hats, straw hats, like wide brim hats and stuff like that. And I also took out all of my uh, handbags basically that are more geared towards the warmer months. Other than that, I really haven't done anything else. I still have to switch out my shoes as well as reorganize and rearrange some things in my closet because my storage closet right now is a hot mess. I have been just chucking things in there and forgetting about it. So today we are going to fight that beast. I thought this would be a fun opportunity to kind of show you guys what I do transitionally in between months because I don't know, it might be helpful, inspiring, entertaining. I'm gonna try to also edit this vlog and upload it literally tomorrow which is today when you guys are seeing this, which is a Thursday. It is 10.49 a.m. right now on a Wednesday. By the way, if you're not following me on Instagram, I'll go ahead and fill you in right here. I post almost every single day. I post stories more on a day-to-day -day basis. Before we get started, let me go ahead and do an outfit rundown. Full disclaimer, I am just wearing like gym shorts, but things are cute like waist up so i'm still gonna show you guys what i'm wearing if you guys are familiar with my style of videos i always go ahead and do the rundown of my jewelry first my friend alice i have already featured her um and her brand on my videos before but she actually sent me a few pieces from her jewelry line called shop third tone and i wanted to show you guys on camera today and these were kindly gifted to me by her so thank you so much alice i love them so so much she also got me a tote which i will go ahead and show you guys later in this video. I have this necklace right here. This is one of her newest releases. I'm not sure if you guys can see that. It, yep, there we go. It is this really, oh my god, it's so adorable. It's like a little donut shaped or I don't, I'm pretty sure she didn't describe it as a donut, but it reminds me of a donut you know where my mind is, but it is such a cute dainty piece. I forgot all the names, so I will go ahead and link all of the pieces below in the description as always. I absolutely love these earrings because it is a statement, but it's still subdued enough to, you know, it's not like in your face. So I really, really like these. I think it was inspired by the moon and the stars and stuff like that, which is so cute. That is the rundown of my jewelry. So funny story about this top. This is what it looks like. Oh my gosh. Oh, okay. So excuse my bottoms. Like I said, I'm wearing like gym shorts from Under Armour. <laughs> this is the crop top that I'm wearing today. It is by Urban Outfitters and this used to be like this color all around. It's tie dyed now because I accidentally washed it with something else that had this like orange color. So now it just looks intentionally tie dyed and I still wear it. I think it's cute. It gives me kind of like army vibes, like army green vibes. Let's go ahead and just, you know, start working on my closet switcheroo. I think what I'm gonna start off with is my bookshelf right here that I got from Target. And I usually put my, all of my fashion accessories there, such as handbags, scarves, hats, I think that's basically it. Those are basically all the things that live on that shelf. So let me go ahead and show you what it looks like. All right, as you can see, and I apologize for the terrible lighting today, it is raining, so it's very gloomy outside. But this is basically what the shelf looks like. I got this from Target, 
and I absolutely love it because it houses all of my accessories in such an aesthetic way. On the top here, you can see all of my hats that I've stacked and then I have to put those scarves away into my closet here, which is basically like my storage space as of right now. In this basket here, I have more like gloves, more winter accessories, but I think I'm just gonna leave that there because I just don't have much room left in that closet. So I don't know where else to put it. Underneath here, this is where I put all of my out of season bags. Like as you can see, they're all kind of dark colors. There's some belt bags in there and more smaller evening bags. However, most of my go-to bags for the spring and summer are already moved upward so it's easy access and i can just kind of pull them out as necessary i just have to figure out the scarf situation the hats i need to find a home i'll go ahead and show you kind of how i organize things i guess okay this is the wild beast that i need to tackle today <sighs> this is our coat closet and jackets but i have chucked in so many things like packaging boxes, tote bags. I have just so much stuff on the floor, donation pile, my stuff for auric essentials. I just have so many things in here. I need to clean it out so I can at least see the floor. <laughs> so we're gonna be working on this today as well. Okay, so basically I'm gonna just start pulling stuff out of my closet right here. And hopefully it's not as bad as I think it is. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get started. <laughs> bring a chair because I think I'm gonna start putting stuff on the upper shelves in the storage closet so I'll be right back. got a system going on let me show you i'm so out of breath okay so as you can see on the bottom i just have everything in terms of like packaging storage boxes uh orc essentials like shipping stuff i have some stuff on the ground there but at least like you can see the entrance i did move some stuff to go up there and my guitar and stuff like that because i never re reach for it up there as well so now i have a ton more space right here to put my scarves any bags that i'm not using at the moment so i'm gonna pull those from this shelf and into the closet here all right you guys i have finished Whew. wow that was a lot of work i haven't even gotten to the shoes but i am finished with this wall bookshelf up here, I rearranged some decor just to make it seem less cluttered. And I have my Chanel box in the back with my Chanel purse in it. I haven't worn it out yet because I just wanna save it for a special occasion or something. But yeah, it is housed in there, safe and sound. Here at the bottom, I have, or at the top more so, this is going to be my go-to handbags for the spring and summer. So you can see that they are more like lighter colors. There's nothing too stark black or super dark here. Same thing over here. I have some more colorful and light colored handbags that I like to wear for spring and summer. On the right side is my perfume collection. This stayed the same. I just left that basket at the bottom because you can't really even tell what it is. And then I moved my scarves out of here and placed my spring and summer hats here. And then on the bottom, I actually used one of my 
old handbag boxes. I'm using it as a storage box for my, uh, what is it called? My belt bags. And then on the side, these are more of smaller evening bags that I have. And on the right side, these are more like backpacks and bigger totes that I need. So I have those at the very bottom because I don't really reach for them that often, but I do like to have it out just in case and make it accessible. This is what it looks like, you guys. I think it looks really, really great. I love this organization system that I have going on because it is so easy to pull out things that I need, but it also keeps it very organized and it's really nice to look at too. I actually put my scarves all the way in the back corner and then here I put my uh, handbags that I'm not using for spring and summer here in the storage closet inside their dust bags so that it's safe and sound. That's pretty much it. Oh my gosh, I am literally sweating because I've been moving around so much and moving stuff around. The last thing that I really need to do is just pull my dresses to the front of my wardrobe in the bedroom, as well as pull out my spring and summer shoes to replace my winter boots and shoes and stuff like that. So I think I might actually have to do that in another video because this video alone, I think is long enough for one day. Um, I might just save that for a little bit later, maybe this weekend, and then I can show you guys that portion on Monday or something on a Monday vlog. I also wanted to show you the third tone tote bag that I got from Alice and this is what it looks like. It's super, super cute. I actually posted a story on my Instagram if you guys missed it of this tote. I think it is so cute. Highly recommend. I will go ahead and link these in the description as always. Now I think I'm gonna wrap up this video and run some errands around the house. I also have to do some like onboarding work stuff for my full-time job. So I'm gonna do that today. I also have to drop off my packages for Romper the Cav, my bandana Etsy shop business. A little update on that, if you guys don't know already, I have a very small Etsy shop that I run. It's called Romper the Cav and I sell pet accessories or bandanas specifically. And I think I'm temporarily gonna close that business because I just have so much going on. I'm never gonna stop YouTube, you guys already know that. It is the livelihood of my, of my life. <laughs> but I am now running Auric Essentials, which is my jewelry business. That hasn't launched yet. I think the launch date is actually going to be May 16th, I believe, but I'll go ahead and make a proper announcement video for that when I am ready to do so. In preparation for that launch, as well as doing YouTube twice a week and a full-time job. It's just a lot to handle and I don't think that I should continue Romper the Cav. I'm still debating because I don't get too many orders so I might just like have it around since I do have so much fabric left over from that business but we will see. I'm still evaluating that. I hope you guys are having a great week so far. It's almost the weekend so hang in there and I'm in such a good mood today. I don't know what it is. I think it's because I woke up early and I did a lot of stuff this morning. Super productive day so maybe that's why thank you so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this closet switcheroo vlog make sure to like this video if you haven't already and make sure to subscribe if you're into these beauty fashion and lifestyle videos i upload it twice a week so i would love to have you here and i will talk to you guys in the comments